Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this new video. So in my previous video, I had discussed with the concept of uh, parity check matrix and uh, we have seen uh, one example problem with respect to the parity check matrix, one important 10 marks problem we have discussed in that previous video. So those who have not seen that video, please go and watch it. It is available in this channel. So in this video, we are going to be continuing with the concepts only of module four. One more important concept which you need to be knowing uh, under this module is called as syndrome error correction. Okay. So what do you mean by syndrome? How the errors in the syndrome are formed? What is the definition of syndrome? How it is calculated? Everything with one example problem I'm going to be discussing in this video. So please stay till the end guys. Don't skip any part of the video. This is very important. So yeah, let us start with the concept of syndrome error correction. So if C is a transmitted code word, that is uh, if the code word generated is, is uh, of the order of check bits, that is uh, n number of check bits are there. If that is the transmitted code word, that is in the particular question, if we give a message code word, right? So that is, that would be the code word. Okay. And R is the received code word. Received code word is the output code word, which we get. So in the previous problems we have solved for number of possible code words, right? Those possible, possible code words are the received code words. Okay. Now to detect and correct the errors in the received code word, the syndrome S is calculated. Okay. So that's why the errors are always associated with this term called as syndrome. So if you want to detect and correct the errors, first thing is you should be calculating the syndrome. Okay. So what do you mean by syndrome, syndrome matrix, everything uh, I'll tell you now. Now see here, if S that is the syndrome is equal to zero, while we calculate if we get S is equal to zero, no errors are found in the code word. Okay. One more condition we have seen with respect to parity check matrix that if the code word length and the message length, if those two are equal, then there are no errors. Also, if those two are equal, then the syndrome while we calculate, we would be getting automatically equal to zero only. Okay. Also when S, S is not equal to zero, error is present in the received code word. Okay. So the general definition of syndrome vector, that is the syndrome matrix or syndrome vector is given by S matrix of the order one cross N minus K that is equal to R matrix of the order one cross N into H transpose. Okay. So this is the basic equation for syndrome, which you need to be knowing. Okay. So please note this down. So now we'll discuss one important problem related to this uh, syndrome error correction only. And uh, we'll let you know how the errors are corrected. Okay. Yeah. So let us see now. This is the problem. Very important guys. Again, I'll mark it here. Whatever, whatever problems I discuss in this uh, modules, right? All of them are very important and taken from the previous year papers itself. Okay. So please, please focus on these problems very well along with the model paper solutions. Okay. Yeah. So this is the question here. It is given by for a six comma three LBC. That is the linear block code parity matrix is given by a three cross three matrix that is one zero one. 0, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0. Okay. So this is the parity matrix given. They have told us to find G and H matrix. Okay. Find G and H matrix and all the possible code words for this uh, condition. So now third sub question they have given it as if the received code word R is equal to 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 0. So this is the received code word with respect to the uh, errors they have given it. Okay. In this code word, there is one error that you need to be detecting using syndrome. So that received code word, they have mentioned it here, detect and correct single error with which has occurred due to the noise. Okay. So in this, you should be detecting and correcting that single error, which is occurred. So first thing is uh, find the G and H matrix. It is simple. Uh, again, uh, G of the uh, G is of the order K cross N that is equal to I of K cross K into P of K cross N minus K. That is G of three cross six is equal to I of three cross three and P of three cross three. So write the three cross three identity matrix here and the parity matrix, whatever is given, write it here. Okay. So we would be getting the generator matrix altogether. Now in order to calculate the parity check matrix H, you would be getting it as N minus K cross N is equal to P transpose of N minus K cross K combined with I trans I of N minus K cross N minus K. Okay. That is H of three cross six and P transpose of three cross three and I of three cross three. So take the transpose of the parity matrix here, interchange rows with columns and write the rewrite the matrix and identity matrix and combine it and you'll be getting the parity check matrix altogether. Okay. 
So first part is done. Now the second part is to find all the possible code words. Okay. So to find the code words also again the same thing. This uh, general equation for code words you might be knowing till now. That is given by C of the order 1 cross N is equal to D of 1 cross K into G. C is of the order 1 cross 6 because N value is equal to 6. And uh, D is of the order 1 cross 3 and into G. So C1 to C6 is equal to D1 up to D3 and the generator matrix. Okay. Do the multiplication here. Since uh, identity matrix is of the order 3 cross 3. So that's why first 3 values would be equal to the message bits itself. That is C1 is equal to D1. C2 is equal to D2. C3 is equal to D3. And C4 is equal to D1 plus D3. C5 is equal to D1. Sorry, D2 plus D3. C6 is equal to D1 plus D3. D2 okay like this you would be getting and for three message bits you would be getting two to the power three that is eight code words for three message bits so with respect to that you could be finding the code words also so these are the message bits there are eight message eight possible message bits combinations starting from 000 001 010 011 100 okay like this all the combinations are written and accord, according to that code words are written C1, C2, C3 remains as it is as the message bits itself and C4 is equal to D1 plus D3 write all the values by adding the uh, respective bits then C5 is equal to D2 plus D3 write, uh, add all the respective bits C6 is equal to D1 plus D2 add all the respective bits and like this you would be getting all the code words okay so in this way you could be finding all the possible code words just pause the video and uh, Verify it by your own by doing the substitution and calculation. Okay, so this is that answer. Please verify it. Now let us get to the actual part that is syndrome calculation. Okay, how the syndrome calculation is done? Let us see that syndrome calculation. In syndrome calculation, we know that S matrix is given by one cross three. That is one cross n, right? Sorry, one cross k. That is given by one cross three. That is equal to R into of the R of R is of the order 1 cross 6 and H transpose right so here we are having three syndrome vectors uh, three syndrome uh, poly, uh, terms that is S1 S2 S3 because it is of the order 1 cross 3 and the, this is the received message received message is given in terms of R since it is 1 cross 6 so we should be writing R1 R2 R3 R4 R5 R6 into H transpose. So transpose of the parity check matrix. So already we have found out the value of H, right? That you should be taking its transpose. So the order would be of the, uh, th this would be of the order 6 cross 3. Okay, 6 rows and 3 columns. So interchange row rows and columns and uh, rewrite this matrix again. So now if we compare this here, we would be getting these three syndrome terms as S1, S2, S3 is equal to S1 as R1 plus R3 plus R4. S2 as R2 plus R3 plus R5, S3 as R1 plus R2 plus R6 here. Okay. And uh, we have already they have already given in the question the received sequence message that is 110010. Substitute that values that is uh, R1 is 1, so 1 XOR with 0 XOR with or the modulo 2 summation of 0. So 1 plus 0 plus 0 is 1. And here R2 plus R3 plus R5 that is 1 plus 0 plus 1 that is 0. R1 plus R2 plus R6 that is 1 plus 1 plus 0 that is 0. So here we would be getting the syndrome vector as 1 0 0. Okay so that's why whenever we get syndrome vector which is not equal to 0 that concludes that there is an error in the received code word. Okay so in that received code word there is an error in which bit that is there is an error that can be identified by seeing this you see here this syndrome wherever whatever we got right you should be checking this syndrome whether it is present in this parity check mat transpose of this matrix or not you see here in the fourth row it is present right this 100 is present in the fourth row so that's why i have highlighted here 100 hence you could be concluding by saying that here the syndrome is present in the fourth row of the h transpose matrix therefore fourth bit in the received sequence is in error okay so since it is in the fourth row, so the se received sequence is 110010 with respect to the syndrome decoding table, fourth bit you should be making it high that is 000100 and do again the modulo to sum, you would be getting 1 plus 0 1, 1 plus 0 1, 0 0 0, 0 plus 1 1, 1 plus 0 1 and 0 plus 0 0. So here this bit is there right, 
that is getting flipped from 0 to 1. Okay, so that's why the corrected code vector is given by 1, 1, 0 and this bit is corrected. That is, I, I, I'll highlight it here. 0 was there initially, that is corrected to 1 and this is the corrected code vector. Okay, so now for this, if you re again do the same operation starting from uh, the generator matrix and all and if you again try to calculate the syndrome correction this time you would be getting the value of s is equal to 0 so that means that there are no errors in this code word so hope this is clear how to calculate the syndrome calculations and all it is very easy i hope you understood it okay so that's all for this video guys we'll see you in the next video with some other concepts related to encoding circuits and syndrome circuits okay so we'll see you in the next video thank you